Hello and welcome. Today we are going to explore chair pose. And there are two schools of thought. One, that your feet and legs, ankles, everything has to be together. The other is that um, your, the base for your pose, your legs are a little wider apart. I like this style. If you've been instructed a different way, that is fine. Experiment with both, see what feels best in your body. So start with your feet in, for me, it's gonna be hip width apart or your comfortable seated or comfortable standing position. And then the hips where the leg or the legs hook onto the hips, you're gonna bend in that point. Stick your sit bones out like you're looking for a chair. Now, if your low back starts to sway, think about the belly. Draw that belly in toward the spine and up toward the heart, which will lengthen your spine. And then you can bring the hands together at the heart and just face forward and have this be your final pose. Or if you want to extend the pose, you can take those arms up, reaching for the sky. The shoulder blades are coming a little bit down on the back, but they're wrapping around your rib cage. And if you think about placing the hands forward, and then the pinkies are scooping like ice cream scoops. Think of it that way, you're scooping ice cream, elbows come in, lengthening, that wraps your shoulders. And then you hold for as long as you want. And to come out, just bring those hands back, inhale, press into those feet to come up, shooey. And exhale, release. You can shake it off when you're done. Chair pose is a great pose for getting the circulation going in the body, working that core. If you have low back stuff going on, there are options. Really engage that core or don't do the pose at all. That's always option number one. If it doesn't feel good in your body, don't do it. But engage that lower belly. Don't come down as deep in the pose. Come up a little higher, make your legs work. Work with your body in a way that um, is feasible. All right, until next time, have a great day.